when it is what it is with the best podcast in Long Beach, California. And here yeah. we are. We're inside a Walmart. And you might be asking yourself, what? What are we doing inside a Walmart? Well, yeah. we're shooting this video, of course. Look, man, you know me, the million dollar man. Making some money off them stocks. Look, yeah. I told you I made a thousand dollars off Tesla, right? I did it. I said I was going to do it. And I, I went and I did it, man. Listen, man, before we get started with the rest of this episode, big disclaimer, I do not offer financial advice. Don't consider this as financial advice. I'm just simply telling you the trades that I'm doing and how I'm making my gains. Okay. And enough said. Do that with, do with that what you will. Now let's get into the stocks. Look, I always wanted to buy into Walmart, right? But the problem was that the stock itself was over a hundred dollars. I could not afford it. Recently, Walmart had a stock split. I believe the stock was worth $170, right? Per share. That was a little out of my price range, right? I wanted to buy the stock when it was at $100, but I, I missed that opportunity. I didn't do it. Since then, the stock uh, took a split, right? Which meant that now I could afford that stock, right? So now I could buy that stock at $70. That's at, at what it is right now. So tell you what, I'm going to go do it. All right, let's look at the numbers. I said that the stock was valued at $70. It's at 69.68, so give or take, it's about $70. Uh, keep in mind that even though it's gone through the stock split, right now, the stock is at its highest that it's ever been. And how are we going to determine that? We're going to go and look at the max. See the scale right here? From 2009 all the way to 2024, it goes all the way up. So we're at the highest right now, the highest peak. And um, I anticipate that it could go lower. And in fact, it has gone lower from 70 to six, slightly lower. But I think it's going to rebound and it's going to keep on going higher. All right. The reason why I think this stock is going to be profitable within the next six months is because the holidays are coming up, right? Uh, October is going to be Halloween, candy, costumes, November, Thanksgiving, food, presents, December, and January. So it's going to be festive. So everyone's going to be out there buying. So I anticipate this stock going from $70 to uh, 75 to 80 And you could go ahead and and sell your stock at that point and take your earnings, right? Take your profits. Or if you wish, you could, uh, you know, hang in there until the stock hits, uh, you know, $100. And that's, you make a $30 uh, gain per share. And uh, that's quite profitable right there. But that might take some more time. Look, man, this stock right here is good for a short-term swing trade or is good for a long-term trade. It all depends on what you want to do with it. For us, we're going to take, uh, you know, our, our possible swing trade, uh, probably getting out at 80. Uh, but if the stock seems to be, um, you know, progressing a lot faster and it's, it seems that it might hit the $100 target share, then we might go ahead and do that. Uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, take advantage of your earnings and get out as soon as you can. Now, keep in mind that this is not financial advice and all financial transactions are at your own risk. All right, so what next, right? Look, this is the game, right? The, the, the plan. So I bought a whole bunch of stock, right, of Walmart. Yeah! And I said it's at $70, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to hold on to that stock, right? This could be a short-term or a long-term stock, right? It depends on what you want to do. Look, I foresee this stock going up and up and up. I haven't heard of any Walmart stores closing down, right? I've heard of other stores closing down, the 99 cent store, right? A couple of CVSs, uh, the Dollar Tree, right? Uh, a couple of fast food places are all closing down, yeah! right? I have yet to heard of any Walmarts closing down, right? And year after year, Walmart is still profitable, right? They're still making that. So I see Walmart being here for the long haul, right? So buying a, a share at $70, right? I'm going to make the assumption that, you know, within a couple of months or maybe by the end of the year or maybe early next year, that stock is going to be worth $100 per what? share, right? At that moment, what I'm going to do is take my winnings right and cash out and that's that's the plan right that could be a, a short term right or if you don't want to wait until the end of the year yeah! and let's say the, the price of the stock goes up by five or fifteen dollars 
and you, and you decide, hey, guess what? That's good enough, right? And you want to go ahead and take your earnings? Then you could go ahead and take your earnings and, and consider that a swing trade. Look, the opportunity's there, right? Now you say, JR, I don't want to lose my money. Well, be cautious, right? Keep an eye on it, right? If it's $70 right now and the price stock starts to drop to like 67, just to be cautious, maybe it's time to sell, right? Because I don't want you to lose your money. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in that situation. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a crap load of money on Walmart. That's right, Walmart stock. It's an opportunity. Um, you know what, if you wanna take that right, you can take that right. Again, this is not financial advice. Listen, if you enjoy, enjoy videos like these, do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and uh, drop a comment. Let us know what you think. That helps us out on the algorithm. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.